Hey guys, it's Brandon with Investment Joy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to buy a house or at least part of a house for only $5. I know it sounds impossible, um, but if you would understand how investments would work, it's actually really easy. And technically, you can even do it for $0. But I really want to get you guys hooked on the mindset of long-term thinking as opposed to making a quick buck. I know very few people that have ever ended up life rich who have done things in the short term. Almost everybody I know is wealthy because they have long-term thinking. And if there's one takeaway that I would like for you guys to get from this channel is that long-term thinking wins the race. Short-term thinking doesn't. Lottery tickets, the lottery ticket mentality sucks. It's garbage. And I don't want you to participate in it. That's how I grew up. A lot of people participated in short-term thinking and they've really screwed themselves for life. One caveat that I have to give you is I am just a hillbilly from Ohio who owns 140 rentals, grew up poor, started the real estate company for $25,000. I am not an investment advisor, so take everything I say here with a grain of salt, meaning realize that I am just a human being. I do not have an investment license. Second of all, this video is not sponsored by Webull, but if you go into the link descriptions, you can get free stocks um, two free stocks valued up to $1,400. If you see below, one of the guys that we have on Discord actually got a crap load of free stock and it was awesome. He made like, what, three or $400 in free stock. So these are real people that get real stocks for free. And don't tell them I told you you can do this, but you can actually sell your stock off that they give you for free after a while, and then you can put it in the companies that we're going to talk about. So without any more disclosures and disclaimers and legal garbage lawyer talk, let's start in. We're talking about how you can own real estate for $5. And up above me is on my big giant magic hillbilly jumbotron that I built from Walmart TVs, we've got a company called AGNC. This is a company that's only $12.51 on the stock market. And what they are is something called a real estate investment trust. All these companies that we're talking about today that you can own, that own houses or pieces of real estate in some way. They are $12.51 as it is right now because during the coronavirus, everything's terrible and people don't know what's going to happen to real estate. Will real estate go away? Will we stop owning real estate after coronavirus is done? Will we start owning more real estate? Will um, the generation in between uh, the silent generation and Generation X sell all their real estate? Will they lose their retirements? Will they lose their pensions? Will we go back to defined pension plans? We don't know what's going to happen. But I find in a real general sense, continual investment over time yields great success. So um, this company, AGNC, is one that I've invested in personally going back to like 2010 2011, um, when I was in real estate, I continued to put a little bit of money back from each paycheck, I think $100, $150 a paycheck, and I put a lot of it in this company. I invested $1,000 in them, and I ended up with about $3,500 after it was all said and done because they pay something called dividends. Dividends are part of the profit the company makes, and they pay them out. With most real estate investment trusts, they are legally required to pay back to the people that invest money in their company a set amount um, with specific REITs. They have to pay 90% of their income out and then it's treated in a favorable tax way. It's a tax advantage deal, meaning there's tax breaks and things like that that you can profit on. So this company is $11 and uh 48. Oh gosh, it's going down. Holy crap. We got to wrap this video up before it goes into the tank. Okay. It went up a penny. Okay, cool. Uh, this thing's live, at least as far as I'm concerned. So they buy mortgages and they package them up. They are very highly levered, which means they are up to their eyeballs in debt, which if you are a risk, if you're an investor that likes risk, it's good. If you're risk adverse, it's bad. If you're younger, you can take on more risk, in my opinion. If you're older, it isn't always a good idea to take off, take risk because as time goes on, 
taking some risk tends to pay off. If you're older, um, you don't have a lot of time always to take on absurd risks. Now, maybe you want to. So I invested in this company, and as it is right now, um, we'll get it on the screen. If they continue on with their expected track record with the way their company set up, that we don't experience a recession beyond what the market estimates. Once again, typically with the stock market, they try, your average investor tries to price in where they think the market's headed. So the general consensus is that this stock is worth $12.48. Oh crap, it went down two more cents. And their dividends, meaning their payments on this stock, will equal 11.81% per year for for who knows how long forever for all eternity till the aliens invade i don't know but it's going to be in perpetuity the estimate is 11.81 percent we're going to go and show you another screen what does it look like if you would invest five dollars a day now the the premise of the video is you can buy real estate for five dollars which you absolutely can that we'll get to that on our next stock but something to take into consideration are these stocks and what, where they will take you if you can regularly invest. So the next company is New Residential Investment Corporation, and they are the $5 stock. If you sign up to Webull or really any platform that allows you commission-free trading, you can buy one of their stocks. It's $5.35. Now, like all the other companies, if they don't go bankrupt, they're going to pay out a 3.62% dividend, which is a little bit low considering everything, but... I have done several videos going back to uh, February, I believe it was, where I talked about the need for you to invest on a consistent basis. I know that a lot of people are in a place in life where it doesn't feel like you even have $5 to spend on a stock. A lot of other people do. But getting the long-term thinking and putting yourself in a position where you are willing and able to invest a little bit of money every single day or every single week will put you ahead of so much because those investments over the course of time compound. They build bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill and turning into an avalanche. I can't remember what cartoon it was, but you know, the little snowball going down the big giant snow covered mountain ends up in this giant thing that crushes the cartoon character and kills them, or at least um, hor horribly disfigures them for the rest of their life and they lose um they lose a lot of stuff in the, the cartoons, however that works. So these things tend to compound and they build up over time. It's called compound interest. I think it was um, Einstein that said compound interest is one of the more, most powerful things in the, the existence of the universe. Um, even Benjamin Franklin over 200 years ago, set aside a very small investment, an endowment for, I believe it was the city of Philadelphia. And over time, just his several dollar investment snowballed and it ended up being worth tens of millions of dollars, but it was under the premise that they would never spend the money and they had to wait over 200 years to get it back. It's a really cool story. Um, I'll put the link to that in the description below, as long as my editor reminds me. So, in RZ Corporation, it's only $5. They pay some dividends. And if we would look, I need to see. Okay, we're moving. See how fancy this is, guys? Here's the, here's the chart. And if you look around April the 2nd, they were down to about $3 per share. And based on the 573 price range right now, you would have got almost double the amount of dividends that they're giving out now or they're paying out now. A, um, a friend of mine is buying preferred shares in this and Anneli, A-N-L-Y, corporation. Um, like AGNC, this one's relatively highly levered. We're mostly talking about higher levered, um, high risk, high reward REITs right now. Maybe don't put all your money in them, but consider doing them. I'm also a big fan of VOO, which is a Vanguard fund, which invests in the entirety of the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is typically consisted of really good companies like Tesla and Apple and businesses that you have probably heard of or maybe buy from on a regular basis. Oh, crap. It went down four cents. So, with AGNC NRZ, they are real estate investment companies, and you can own a piece of the real estate that they own. Um, AGNC owns the mortgages, the underlying mortgages on pieces of real estate for millions of millions of houses. So you own a little piece of a broad spread of houses. 
Ladder Capital Corp is another highly leveraged, highly risky um, investment uh, with a dividend <laughs> amount of almost 20%. It's crazy. Um, once again, speculative investment. A friend of mine, Dave, who's on Discord, it's one of the companies that he likes. Um, he's our REIT guy. If you haven't joined our Discord, you should get on it and we could talk about stonks and investing, but it's not the WSB ultra leveraged um, option type stuff. It's mostly, this is about as risky as we get with um, levered real estate investments, meaning there's actual piece of ground. Now this company I'm a huge fan of, it's EPR Properties. Um, some of you know what Top Golf is, and this is the company that owns almost all the underlying real estate and the properties for Top Golf. Top Golf is this thing where it's almost like a golfing video game. A lot of my friends who are like lawyers and doctors and those kinds of places, people, they love this stuff. And there is a giant one north of Columbus and it is freaking packed. Well, at least it was before coronavirus. And their stock price has tanked. They also own the underlying real estate in AMC Theaters, who now is on the verge of bankruptcy. And a lot of people don't know because over 40% of their holdings are in movie theaters, heavily AMC, that they're concerned that this company could lose a large portion of their value. But they have over half a billion dollars sitting in the bank in nice, delicious dollar bills. And they can weather the storm, in Brandon's opinion, for quite some time. If they come back or remain stagnant, they don't lose a huge amount of the cash coming in off their properties or years from now, they are able to recover the portion of lost rents and lost revenue. They're making 19.95% interest. It's here on the screen somewhere. They're making 19.95% interest. And we're going to go to a spreadsheet here in a very little bit with regards to how much money that would be to you as an investor. Now, if you invest a portion of your money or whatever you, you're able to save back in these stocks, there's a high likelihood that not everything's going to get 20%. It could get 12%. With AGNC, I averaged 14% for about four years, and then I took the money and I invested it in at Tesla at $125 a share. I invested in Tesla at $125 a share, and if you look above my bald head, Tesla right now is $725. Um, I sold it a little bit ago and then bought back in, but it makes me look really smart. I turned $1,000 into, um, gosh dang it, it's like $13,000 over the course of time. So I increased my, my amount like 13 times. And not every investment's going to do that. It's nice to talk about winners, but I invest, I've invested in really crappy companies like Zion Oil and um, they're terrible. And uh, Cellcom Israel, they're terrible too. Holy crap. And then I invested in uh, Collector's Universe, which grades coins and um, comic books and stuff like that. I've done terrible on them too, but I've done great on Tesla, great on Apple, um, doing good on Amazon right now, did great on AGNC and these kinds of REITs. So far, I haven't done very poorly at all on any REITs, but these are speculative investments. I also have put my kids in VOO, which is a Vanguard fun, meaning they invest in every single stock, so you own a little piece of that. So with any of these ideas that I'm presenting here, you're owning a small piece of a larger puzzle. With AGNC and NRZ, you're owning a small piece of the real estate mortgages that exist. With EPR, you're owning part of Topgolf, AMZ Theaters, and things like that. Now here's, here's what is so freaking important with all of these ideas. I have created this wonderful spreadsheet and we'll throw it up on the screen because I love Excel. I'm using Google Drive, which is a free program that you can calculate your returns. I've made a spreadsheet showing some different scenarios or simulations of what would happen if you would just invest $5 per day in different stocks. Now, we talked about EPR, AGNC, um, a real wide range of different kinds of stock options that you can get. And... We don't know, you know, if we knew what the, exactly was going to happen in the future, all of us would buy Powerball tickets. We don't live on our own private islands. Maybe we live on Mars. Um, so we don't know where those are going to go, but I've got this range of 
prices, and uh, we'll throw it here on the screen now, and it starts off at 8%. After one year at 8%, if you only invested $5 a day, and I know I realize for some people $5 a day is a lot, but I think that if we all hustle and work hard, $5 a day is doable for a lot of people. Maybe you could do 10 or $20 a day, but $5 a day. Um, at 8% after one year is $1,971. After 30 years, it's $225,000. Now, 8% interest is our kind of low bar on this um, financial simulation here. But after 30 years, it's $225,000. If you're young, watching my video right now, you're, you know, you're 14, 16, 18, 20 years old, 30 years, um, seems like a long time, but in reality, it's it's not. 30 years will come, come and go by a lot faster than you realize. But the idea is you'll have a war chest should you decide to buy a laundromat, a piece of physical real estate. Um, th these are things that you can get into today by clicking a link in the freaking description, spending five minutes opening up an account. You can do this like right now and you'll do it now rather than tomorrow, because like I have said many, many times, and people kick themselves, the best time to invest is yesterday. The second best time is now. Waiting for tomorrow to start investing and starting setting up these plans always ends in misery, I promise you. So we go and we look at our yellow column, the 12%. At year one, you end up with $2,000. $44. After 10 years, you end up with $37,694. After 30 years, you end up with almost half a million dollars. And something to consider here is that 12% is between 10 and 12% is typically an achievable return for most people. Um, in a lot of investment environments, 10 to 12% is very, very doable. And this is just, once again, $5 per day. Now we're going to go up to the extreme portion right down here on the red area, which these are very unlikely returns. But if you would put a decent bit of money in the market, you know, now, and these companies would come back like EPR, AGNC might increase, um, ladder, things like that. If you would invest $5 per day, once again, we're $5 per day, and you were able to maintain a tempo of it increasing at 20% per year. Once again, this is very difficult, but I know people that have done it. You'd end up with almost $6.5 million after 35 years. After 10 years, you would end up with $58,000. Um, after 25 years, you would have a little over a million dollars. And a lot of people feel like if you do the FIRE deal, um, hot, earn a lot of money and retire on a little bit of money, a million dollars is almost the benchmark where you could potentially do that with very safe investments. But it's also one of those things where over the course of time, compound interest is just so powerful that you can achieve financial freedom, um, invest in people that you care about, invest in your family, the things that you care about, it would be nice to have this money, right? So do me a favor, like and subscribe if you already haven't. Um, join our Discord where we talk about stocks and real estate investments and laundromats and vending machines and all that kind of stuff on a regular basis. I appreciate if you have questions, um, I try to get over... I try to get back on the comments on the videos, especially within the first three hours. I read pretty much every single comment. So once again, this is Brandon with Investment Joy. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.